Hey y'all. Um, so I'm doing some more work. Oh wow. This thing isn't working as well as I'd hoped. I've been doing some more work on this stove. Um, I had a cold, a head cold, just a head cold for a long time. It took like three weeks to get rid of this silly thing. And uh, anyway, so now I'm out, I'm on vacation, but I can't go anywhere, you know, cause the whole thing. Uh, so we're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about this stove. I'll turn the camera on, you can see how far I've gotten. And uh, yeah. Okay, so first up, we're gonna start on the inside. Seems a weird place to start, but here it is. So it was all, I don't know if you can see, like worse than that all over. You can see the bare metal down there and the black. It was all like that, that rust kind of thing all over the place, so you can see. I'm not gonna go crazy cleaning in here, but we're definitely gonna get it better than that. Uh, and you can see the outside. Uh, and then this side, and look, you can see a hole right there. We gotta caulk that up. They have a special kind of caulking for that. Um, here's the front door. You can see the uh, little eagle. Um, yeah. You can see on the other side, too. do some caulking right there, too. Um, these are the legs they still need a little work and the damper thing and then that thing over there uh yeah so that's what i'm doing instead of sitting inside watching tv because i can't go anywhere i'm uh in the shed doing this have you ever showed you my shed so this is the work table or one of them kind of messy i never said i was a, a clean person and it's uh, fully insulated. This stove, by the way, is gonna go in here. And uh, it's two garage, I mean, two car there and a, like a third here that we make do this way. And there's a big shelf and everything. Yeah, I want to have concrete in here so I can get rid of, you know, I mean, and I can put a wall up between the two sides and uh, heat this and I don't know, we'll see, but that's sort of a, I mean, imagine having to get rid of everything in here just to pour concrete. So, anyway, okay, there you go. Okay, bad news and good news. Well, sort of two different folders of it. In the first folder, I was thinking to myself, I'd like to take it apart into six pieces and... Uh, that way I could do better in cleaning it. But I was choosing not to because I, I was afraid I'd how how I'd put it back together. Well, I was I found a a piece of like a, there's the thing is put together with tabs and slots, right? And uh, one of the tabs was out of its slot. And that's why those big gaps were there. Remember those big gaps? They weren't just where you'd put a lot of caulking. But I probably just could have put caulking, but that's not how I roll, you know? Anyway, so I thought, well, I'll have to loosen this one bolt. They have four bolts, long bolts, holding the whole, whatever you call a rectangle, a six-sided six rectangle. Um, what do you call that? I can't remember. A six-sided rectangle. Anyway, so it keeps all six sides together, the pressure of these four large bolts. I thought I'd loosen one of them, put the tab back in and tighten it back up. In the process of loosening it, I snapped the head off. Here's the bolt. So then I thought, dang, this is, I'm just gonna have to do it. And so I was looking and I was like, okay. So I cut them all off after taking a video, maybe you'll see that one or not, of where all the slat, slots and tabs were supposed to be. And, um, Took it all apart. So that's the first folder of bad news and good news. The good news of that is that it'll be much cleaner. And yeah, and I will have not slacked at all in the process of cleaning this thing up, even up to the bolts. Um, so yeah, that's the first folder. The second folder is my drill. And I'll show you the pieces of that. Uh, my drill is the cord got, it's a cheap drill and it got, 
twisted up near the handle and and toward the uh, the insulation on the wires. And so as I was doing, I kept hearing pops, poof, poof, poof. And what it was was the two wires touching each other, and they should not be touching each other at all. So uh, that's the bad news of the second folder. The good news is I, got to, I get to get a new tool. Yay. Um, okay, I'll turn it around, and I'll show you. Okay, so there are four things like this, these long bolt things. You can see I broke the head off of one of them while trying to trying to loosen it because this tab on one of the plates was uh, yeah anyway it needed to be put back in in the, its spot and uh, anyway so this came off so I was better able to do the other side which is one of the, the positive thing right and this side looks better because where the this tab was stuck into that slot so I wasn't able to get into it and you can see. This looks way better. I mean, I, I, I guess I could sit and get all of this discoloring, this patina off, but I think that's good enough. That's the inside. Uh, the, the thing that broke is like this one, all right? And it was right here. And there's two more on the other side of that, and there, one there and one there. So now that one broke, I'll have to find a way to take them all out, but I don't want to take them all out at the same time because then I have six pieces of stuff and then I got to put it back together. So I might take them out bit by bit somehow. Anyways, you can see it's tore up pretty good in there. Um, so I get to get a new tool. Here are three of the pieces. Uh, what, the end piece two long rectangular sides and they're cleaned in the back now too as much as I'm choosing to do I mean I'm not gonna get it down to you can see that's pretty, that's pretty good you know I bet you if you put those inside your shirt you could probably you can see two of the two of the tabs are busted off here's the tab broken off and there's the tab broken off and there's the other tabs now we'll see the other one. This is the bottom. You can see it's got tabs as well, six of them in a line. Three there and three here. Once I get a new drill, I'll be working on that. And here's the bottom of that. Here is the top. It has no tabs, but it will be clean better. Here's the door. You can see that will be even better. You can see it's got tabs as well. Um, all of them are in place. So that's it. Okay, bye. Okay, so it's the next day and I've gotten a new drill, which is way more powerful than the other one. The other one was a Harbor Freight one, you know. This one wasn't too expensive either, but anyway, so I got a lot of this done. You can see it from comparison. It's still rusty in there, but it's the inside. So I'm not gonna get too crazy about it. Maybe I should. What do y'all think, should I? Um, here's the bottom. That's done for the most part. I mean, who's gonna look at the bottom? I'm gonna call that done, you know? I better get my finger out of there. Um, you can see, rest, here's this. All right, and the inside. Way different. This is the door. Still a little, I don't know. That's the inside of the door. There's 
this, this somehow reminds me of a Roman shield, you know? Side of it. The back side. She's got a nice back side. <laughs> and, um, here's this one too, this side too. And that. Just do a little bit, that's the inside anyway. So. so I'm thinking pretty soon I can put the legs back on. Well, I want to go through each of these with that chemical, not chemical, but it's like a conditioner, paint conditioner thing. And, and do it all up so it's nice and pretty. So here's this part too. Here's this part too. I mean, some of the patina I'm just gonna leave because it's it's nice. Uh, but I wanted to get a lot of the stuff on the inside done. You can see how pockmarked, look how pockmarked this is right in there. And all back in here. The heat was probably way back here in the past. And okay, look, this part will come right off right here. Maybe not good, I don't want it to come off. It's still it's still pretty thick though, so I think it'll handle more fire. And I thought about putting fire brick in here too, once it's done, and make it extra heavy, I know, but it might protect the bottom a little too. So, this, eventually, Alyssa and I are gonna have a tiny home, and we're gonna park it on some land when we retire, and this is gonna heat our house. So, there. But for now, it's gonna heat my shed so I can come out here when it's 30 below. It's sort of a long video and um, I appreciate you watching if you have watched and if you haven't, I still appreciate you taking your time out of your day. Uh, yeah, so that's that. It's raining now, gonna snow tonight. Um, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna go in and have some beer. Uh, I should probably shower again. It would, <laughs> would drive Alyssa batty if I just crawled in bed just dirty like this. <laughs> I don't think I'll do that. <laughs> it's funny to think about, but it's not funny to actually do. Um, okay, well, stay healthy, y'all.